Yo, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about the best budget helmet that you can buy for under $200 and that is the HJC i70 Sport Touring Helmet. Now this helmet, you can get it for around $112 to $200 depending on the color or the graphic that you choose. And you can find this easily on Amazon or other websites like Revzilla. Uh, this is a polycarbonate shell, only weighs 3.5 pounds and it is dot .NECE certified. Now the shape for this helmet is for an intermediate oval shaped head, which should fit most people. Uh, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's not big and bulky like a lot of motorcycle helmets. You don't look like a dark helmet from uh, Spaceballs, if you remember that movie. Uh, this helmet you know, fits well, it looks good, and it's not going to look massive. Uh, compared to your shoulders all right it's got seven intakes two on the brow here and five down here one two three four five easily manipulated with this thumb switch while you're riding same thing on the top with the brow vents are very very easy to manipulate while you're riding and then on the rear we have large really cool looking uh, venturi vent with two exhaust ports. I think this helmet, in my opinion, looks really badass. It looks kind of uh, almost like Darth Vader. Uh, you know, and you can use this for cruising, for sports bikes, uh, you know, really a versatile helmet for any type of bike uh, that you're riding and you're gonna look cool uh, and badass, which is important. <laughs> but uh, there's so many different options as far as colors and graphics. You can switch up the visors very easily. As you can see, this is the silver uh, tinted visor that I have here. Uh, when you buy them, and I'll put a link down, the visors, when you search for it, it's the HJ-31. Uh, That's the name of the visors you have to look for. And, you know, they're pinlock ready. Uh, and they're very easy to switch out. You just bring it to the top position, and then you can just pull it right out from the side. Uh, but what I really like is the positive feel from uh, from the visor. So initially, you know, there's the all the way down lockdown position, like that. And then what I tend to do is just ride in this uh, city riding position, which is just, you know, a couple millimeters open. So when you're riding, you get some fresh air under there, but it's not too much. And then the next step up's right here, two, three, all the way up, it's five. And at fifth position, you can pop it right out, put the new one on, bring it right back down. But what's really cool, you know, for a budget helmet, and I say budget just because it doesn't cost that much, but um, take a look here. We have a really sweet cable actuated internal drop down sun visor. All right, this is a dark smoke uh, tinted sun visor, and you can put it at any angle since it's cable actuated, but it locks right at the bottom. Super easy to do to use when you're riding with your left uh, left hand. No problem whatsoever. And that gives you some really good uh, you know, airflow if you're looking for that and some good shade. You know, you can double up, get extra sun protection while you're riding. Um, this internal sunshade, this is called the HJV9. I'll put a link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. Um, but you can switch up the colors of this one as well. So the internal sunshade, the regular visor, you can switch up both of those. Uh, as far as underbelly of this amazing helmet, I'm sorry, it's a little dusty. But like I said, we have the intermediate oval. We have a uh, double D-ring enclosure. Very easy, very traditional. This chin curtain, I had to buy myself. This is the official HJC i70 chin curtain. Some of them do come with it and some of them don't. And it's a little tricky when you buy it. Sometimes it says it will and it doesn't. So this thing costs about 10 bucks. I can put a link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. Um, but this moisture wicking removable lining, very easy to take out. You can toss it in the washing machine, clean it. You have very nice channels on the roof to move the airflow to the back to that venturi vent so the air goes from the front to the back real easy. Um, one thing that's great about this helmet is that you can easily attach a Bluetooth comm system. I have the Senna uh, 20S Evo on here uh, and it's very easy as far as installing it. You can just gently uh, you know, slide the uh, cheek pad down to the left here, tuck it right in. But each Bluetooth comes a little different. But this one does leave you room behind the uh, cable actuated switch here to insert the Senna. Uh, so that way you can communicate with your buddies while you're riding, which is important. And then 
what I did, and if you can see here, <laughs> I have this cable here, you know, as far as writing and vlogging, you can see, and I'll zoom in closer, but what I have done is I've attached my uh, Sony ECM LV1 lavalier mic, you know, and I tucked it right in <laughs> the uh, cheek pad. Uh, so there's no tape or anything like that, it's just the cheek pads pressed against it. And then what I did use is some double-sided Velcro to hold the mic at the front, and I tuck it right behind the chin curtain, so that way the wind distortion is really reduced, it's not getting direct wind buffeting uh, while you're riding. But for under $200, I call this, they call it, you know, budget helmet, but this helmet is excellent. You can use it in any occasion, short rides, long rides, touring, whatever, at the track. So if you're looking for a great helmet, good looks, good styling, good price tag, I'd recommend HJC i70 Sport Touring Motorcycle Helmet. Well guys, if you found this useful, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will catch you later. Bye.